Hello Aries, how are you guys doing? Welcome into your reading. We are getting the good vibes. What is good that is coming for you over the next couple of weeks? Whenever you get this reading, it is going to be meant for you to see. So there are no timestamps or anything on my readings. It's when you get it, you're meant to see it. So let's begin before I start guys. As usual, is my herbs burning? Yes, they are burning. There we go. Uh, let's clear the space of any previous readings that I have down on the table, any energies that have been around here, and then call in your spirit guides to come in and your energy as well, so that we can, the spirit guides can guide the reading and we can get your energy out. First cards I'm going to take out, I'm going to use the Sacred Traveler Oracle. We're going to get two out, one in the beginning and one at the end. So we're going to see basically the energy that is and the energy that is coming. Okay, so let's get started. Energy that is right now for my Aries out there. Let's see what will come in for you guys. Far away places, getting ready for new horizons. This is good. Uh, that tells me that if you're coming into this reading, um, you are totally have or wanting to start a new beginning. You may even be um, considering maybe relocating from where you live with the energy of faraway places being there. You're ready for this. You're ready for some good stuff. You're ready for some change to come into your life. You may be feeling a little bit restless as well, almost as if where you are currently, it's not where you want to be. You want to go into either a new way of feeling or a new way of being. So there is definitely an, uh, like an urgency coming through for you wanting to see some changes coming in and let us go spirit guides let us have a look and see the good news coming in here for my Aries out there what is unfolding that is going to make them so happy and so feeling good wanting to have that new energy what is that let's see what will come in over the next couple of weeks for you guys um let's see what is it now when I release this video around about the middle of July so this can be towards right up into the end of July even the beginning of August very nice energy. You got the take the lead energy, which is three of wands. Blossom. I couldn't have a better card come out there. I love my blossom card. I love the judgment energy that comes through. Just breathe. Hmm, that's interesting. And the ace of swords you are definitely going to be having a new beginning this is nice there's some lessons getting learned here as well as you're going on we're going to go deeper into these cards as well and see more what is going on but with this cards coming through here what i can tell you is that you're definitely going to do this whatever it is that you're trying to bring into reality i'm finding it quite interesting as well that these cards that have come out here are kind of like copying each other's energies have a look as if somebody here is manifesting their future they're playing with like an energy ball basically you can actually do this by the way you can actually build an energy ball and they're playing with this energy ball i always like to think of it as them as somebody focusing on what they want to bring into reality because this fire this energy is in turning into these leaves at the bottom here which shows me growth and it shows me something becoming more and more and getting stronger and stronger with this card as well you got the very same kind of fire energy ball taking the lead i do feel like you're going to make some changes physical practical changes whatever that may mean to you i do feel like you are going to do what is necessary definitely there's an ending of a cycle here as well you may have ended something recently as well could be a relationship or it could be even Anything, to be honest, could be a way of thinking, a thought process, how you want to move forward in your life, what it is you want to do, but you are so ready for this. It is also indicating there could have been some karmic cycles that you were dealing with that you have ended and now you're ready to step forward now you're ready to feel the way that you want to feel and actually come in there and begin this new way of being there is a lot of interesting cards coming out on this side. i love this you got the four of swords energy here it also tells me that you're going to be holding back from some certain energies holding back from certain people it literally says just breathe i feel like you need a bit of a break um from what has been occurring in your past what you walked away from, what you want to change, what you want to shift out of. There could be an, a possibility that either somebody or a situation does kind of come back in. I do feel like you're going to hold back from that. You're not going to want to go back into something that you've already ended. Um, with the Four of Swords as well, it is also letting you know that some very quick things are coming in here. There's going to be some very big changes, especially with this card coming up here with the Four of Swords. So it just tells you prepare yourself for that. 
there is action that you're going to take. For some of you guys, it's like almost like you're going to apply for new work and you're going to put your CVs out there. You're going to get a very quick response and unexpected as well. Get ready for that. Um, it is going to happen very quickly. For others of you, it can be even a relationship. You're walking away from something or have already done so. You're starting your new life. Things are going to move very quickly and unexpectedly with a just breathe card it's almost like they're going you know if you hold your breath i feel like you're in that energy right now of when you're holding a pause you're holding your breath and you're going to let out this breath and you're going to breathe in again and it's like you're breathing in this change and it's going to happen quickly and even a bit unexpectedly and Prepare yourself for that. Go for it because it's extremely positive. This is it couldn't be better. Clarity of belief, belief is Ace of Swords energy. It does say, yes, where you are going, it's not going to be easy. Whatever dream you have here, whatever new beginning you want to have, it's going to take work. You're going to face things by the way. Interesting enough, one, when we enter, enter into a new cycle, and we even, especially because if it's us that made that decision, if we made the decision to step out of the past and move into the future, we will definitely be facing difficulties because as the old breaks away and we're moving into a new beginning, the old that is breaking away can manifest itself into our world as things going wrong. So you might find you leave a connection, you leave a job, you start a new job. Within the first week, you could find that you get sick. It's like you just start the new job and three days into your work, you find that you're quite ill and you end up having to go see the doctor and you're like, I can't believe that this is happening. It is because it's a breaking away of old energy. You might find that you start a new relationship and everything's going good and um you end up losing your job, you know, or you end up having your car break down or uh, something breaks in your house or, you know, funny things begin to happen. And you're wondering, but why is this happening when I've actually decided to move forward in my life? It is because it is the universe way. You see the energy ball, the energy that is happening. It's breaking down. It will show itself in in things that are happening around in your life go through it face it keep moving it's going to then start to reveal it's making space for the new beginning you see what i'm saying so let's go in let's have a look a bit further let's take the lead energy let's go further into that what is that all about it could have been a relationship that ended here guys with the queen of cups it's definitely something that's no longer serving you your heart was not no longer in the place where it was meant to be and you definitely walked away from something it can be anything anything that's attached to your emotion with the queen of cups being there it shows that my heart wasn't there i didn't feel like you know i was in the right place at the right time my heart was no longer in something so i had to walk away from it let's go into the judgment card that has come up there what is up with that judgment card let's have a look and see putting yourself forward you were manifesting the nine of cups energy very nice you want to feel happy you want to feel like where you're going is where you belong you want to feel proud as well of the things that you can achieve in this world and in this life you are heading in a very positive direction for that card to come up here it indicates that you're literally manifesting it's almost like you're manifesting what's in those cups there and in those cups it's much better than where you were because the queen of cups it's in the reverse position so it shows that she's not gathering these nine cups and in those cups all those emotions she's actually not happy where she is male or female energy and this is somebody feeling very content very proud very happy about what they've achieved it can even indicate re receiving awards as well sometimes it reminds me of um when you know when you're at university or at school you get a lot of rewards for the things that you've done during the year and it's like this is the best student like sitting there very happy with all the cups that they have won in the background that is a very beautiful energy i feel like you're really focusing on that let's see the just breathe energy four of swords prepare yourself mentally guys prepare yourself mentally without a doubt a big shift is about to happen in your world definitely moving into a new cycle and that's extremely i love change 
Do not be afraid of change. It's the most positive thing that can ever happen in our world. People are afraid of change because they see the breaking away of the old. And we must not be afraid of that. We are strong enough to overcome absolutely anything. So put your mind right for this as well. I do feel like there's a little bit of worries about the future, wondering how things will unfold, if everything's going to be okay. You are going to see those results very quickly. And prepare yourself for being very busy. That's the kind of energy as well. I don't think, honestly, you're going to be having enough time to think. I feel like this is something that, and this can be a problem as well because the five of wands being here, this problem or whatever you're stepping away from could have been something that was with you for quite some time. So you're going to see some very quick changes here with the ace of swords. Let's have a look and see. Oh yes. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles. What more do we need to see? You will be successful here. You are going to be successful moving forward here. You're going to see some beautiful results in your life that's going to make you not only emotionally happy, but stable as well. This card, wow, this is the person that is driving that nice car, that is wearing the great clothing, that takes care of themselves, that pulls up in the driveway to a nice home that's not empty. It's got stuff in. You're working towards some unbelievable stability. You are going to be successful. This is your good news, guys. Keep going. Do not be afraid. Let's see the last oracle card out for you. Where you're coming from is definitely change. Dreams about the future. Let's see where you're going. Do not give up. You're on a divine plan, guys. Wow. Trust where you are going here. You don't see it yet with the desert passage because you're in the desert. You're heading towards something. I feel like there's an oasis somewhere over there and you're heading towards it. This that is unfolding now. What is unfolding currently in your life has meant to come in for you. The ending that has taken place has always meant to happen. The lessons that you have learned from the experiences that you've had were lessons you were meant to learn so that you are able to handle what is coming in the future. You have been building yourself, uh, molding yourself to become a person that you've always meant to be and live the life that was always meant for you. This is beautiful. You, I love what's going Whenever I see this, I'm always like, yes, this is my energy. This is how I feel about life. Because at the end of the day, we can try so much to bend the world the way we want to bend it, to make it, even to manifest what we want to manifest. And at the end of the day, there is a divine plan with some degree in our life. Yes, there are things I believe we can create anything we want to create as long as it's in order with our divine plan um, we it's like me going let me go and be this is gonna be funny a supermodel that is not in line with my divine plan guys my divine plan my soul's purpose for coming here is literally tarot cards you know reading tarots communicating with spirit and um, that's why I'm doing it and we have to trust those divine plans. Everything that is occurring right now, you're in line with your divine plan. Whatever it is you're working on, manifesting your future, whatever that is, do not stress here. This is totally meant for you. This is why you came. Oh, Aries, you make me just emotional. This is why you came. Where you're going now, it's the reason why you were born and you're going to see it very soon. I feel like you're going to be quite surprised at what still is going to unfold for you. There we go, Aries. I'm wishing you all the best going forward. I'm very, very happy about your reading. I'm, I've, I've, the reason why I'm saying that is because the energy that I'm feeling, it's so safe. <laughs> you don't understand how safe it is where you're going. There is no fear here at all. You're literally on the path that you're meant to be on. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.